okay like this will be a colorful one as well let's see how beautiful we can make this one it's already a beautiful image but we're going to make it even more interesting a lot of people like this particular subject it's a very popular subject and it's understandable <laughs> very much an understandable liking for this topic it's very cute people love cute things most people do in some way shape and form Okay, let's see what, this, what we've got here. That's cute. It is a card with a beautiful dressed-up dog. It looks like his birthday. It's not doesn't say what kind of card it is, but it, that would be probably construed as a birthday card, judging by the balloons and the and the streamers and shit like that, and dressed up for the party. He looks like he's dressed up to have a really good time at a party as a dog. As far as dogs can have parties, but people just love to dress them up sometimes. We're just going to make this into a movement piece of this really cute animal. See how it goes. Yeah, it's a dog. <laughs> it's a cute little dog. <laughs> All dressed up, ready to party. <laughs> One thing I noticed good about this card is that it's Australian made and owned, which is really nice to see. You don't see that very often, especially in shops that sell this tourist st stuff. This is not exactly tourist material, but this is something that's that's sold in, a, in one of those cheap shops. And for some reason, it's, it's really good value for money. It's like, I didn't get much of the dog in the picture and the balloons, so I'm going to try that again. But it's really nice to see something made and owned in Australia where it's quite rare these days with foreign own, big companies getting greedy and offshoring everything and jobs disappear off our shores because these greedy corporations just want to make it cheap in China. And it's taking advantage of the Chinese as well because they get treated like slaves, they get worked hard and they don't get much pay. That's an interesting one. I think we can do better than that. We're just going to quickly play with it again and see if we can make this look even better. But yeah, it's, it's really nice, refreshing to see something actually made on our shores. Something like this. I, I wish it, the rest of the tourist material, uh, the Australiana kit, could be also made on our shores. Especially that it's meant to be Australia. Like for Australia Day, like all the different things that you can buy, little props that you can buy for Australia Day. It'd be good if they were not made in China but made on our shores. It would be more appropriate if it was made on our shores than made offshore. It just seems silly to manufacture Australian themed items off our shore. So I'm wondering which one, wondering if we're going to do another one. This is really a difficult one I'm finding. So I'm just going to quickly play with that again. Maybe, I don't know, maybe one more time or something this is not an easy thing to do this movement shit it's really quite difficult it's difficult to control so you don't always get results that you want and it can take so many times to get it right before you find something that you find aesthetically pleasing okay well that looks a lot better now you can see it's a dog and you can see the balloons that are really colourful. Although I must admit, I don't agree with balloons as, as a party uh, favour, as they call them. Because if they get into the gutters, go down the drains and into the ocean, poor little sea creatures and seabirds may ingest them, like with a lot of plastic materials. So I don't, I'm not a balloon person. I'd, I'd rather something that would last instead of something that just lasts for a day. Or, or two so I'm, it just seems a bit hypocritical that I'm doing the balloons because they are colourful but it's not something for my birthday that I'd want I'd rather be without balloons myself it's better for the planet 
but a lot of, but they're just like a brick. It'd be good if they could make make balloons that could biodegrade so quickly that they only biodegrade in one day. But then I don't know. It's just that's a tough that's a tough thing to work out how to create something like that. I mean, but you can always they seem to break down quite quickly, and that's why they pop in the sun because the sun UV of the sun just breaks them down really quick. But it's not quick enough to stop them from going into the mouths of sea turtles and fish and bird life. And there's just so much plastic floating around in the sea. And birds, birds and fish and stuff like that don't recognise it as plastic. They think it's food and they eat it and it goes into their guts and they fucking get really sick and then they perish, they die. And it's an agonizing, from what I can tell, it would be an agonising death to ingest that shit. As a, as a bird or a fish or a turtle and then die a slow death because you're not getting any nourishment from it it's taking up room in your gut you can't pass it through your bum or you, you can't piss it you can't poo it out all that easily and it just gets stuck in your guts and then, then some people have discovered these creatures full of plastic like the pit creatures are a dot, you know, their bodies, their carcasses are decomposing and then you can see a gut full of fucking plastic. I've seen pictures of it. Or someone's cut open, may have cut open an animal that's ingested plastic and you can see all the plastic inside the belly. It's all plastic. There's hardly any, you can't see any food. It's plastic, all in their tummy, all different colours, all different shapes, all this shit. Usually, often they look like, most of them look like drink lids, drink bottle lids um stuff like that stuck in their guts that must be fucking painful to die like that and it's just not right and of course these creatures will end up probably going extinct somehow we've got to find a solution to the plastics in the ocean how do we find that solution i mean even i use plastic i, I struggle to reduce my plastic use it's just so easy to, to make this this rubbish this waste but that's but one way I'm trying to curb my use of plastics is to avoid balloons. And that's one thing I don't want at my birthday or at my uh, wedding or Christmas. I don't want balloons. I just want it. You don't need them. They don't last. I don't like things that don't last. I find it, it's no fun when you get something that doesn't last. The only thing that's good that doesn't last is food, party food. <laughs> At least that gives you a good enjoyment. and But then you've got to make sure it's not wrapped in too much of the plastic as well. But anyway, enough of that. I think that's a really nice, apart from the curling, this looks really nice. I think now we can call this quits.